tell us how the left ventricle performs in systole? Yes. The story about the donkey with the load getting up the hill. Well, first there's preload. The ventricular myocardium is like a trampoline. You stretch it and it bounces back following Starling's law of the heart. Is that the length tension relationship? Yes. There is a necessary filling tension to generate maximal systolic force. That's preload. I get it. So what is its main determinant? Left ventricular and diastolic volume. Here it is, represented on the pressure volume loop. If it's too high you can reduce it with diuretics or venodilators. Do you ever need to increase it? Yes. That's when you give a fluid bolus to increase cardiac output. But not too much, because the curve plateaus. Okay so what's after load? It's the resistance to ejection, manifesting as aortic systolic pressure. Again, reducing it can improve cardiac output. What do you mean, manifesting? Actually tension is more than just pressure. It's wall stress, which incorporates both cavity pressure and wall thickness. But that's another lesson. So where does the donkey fit in? Well if the donkey is struggling to get up the hill, you can make it easier by easing the load off its back. Reducing preload. Yes. Or, by showing it an easy way up the hill. Reducing afterload. Why can't I just whip it? You can. That's contractility. If you plot the pressure volume loop under various loading conditions, you can determine slope of the line in the upper left corner. This is known as the end systolic pressure volume relation. Is the slope of the line contractility? Yes. It increases if you give beta stimulants or calcium sensitizers. But we don't do this except in desperate situations. Like cardiogenic shock. The donkey may get over the hill but it won't live very long afterward. 